Leo ni tarehe moja mwezi wa kwanza mwaka 2024. Today is the first January 2024. Kwa hiyo ni mwaka mpya. So it's a new year. Leo ninakwenda kuleta ujumbe ambao Mungu amenipa kwa ajili ya mwaka huu 2024. Today I'm going to bring the special message that God gave me especially for the year of 2024. Uko tayari? Are you ready? Mungu akaniambia, God spoke to the man of God. Kuna mpango wa adui ulioandaliwa kwa ajili ya watumishi wa Mungu wa kweli. There is a scheme prepared back in Hades especially for the servant of God. Mpango wa adui. The scheme of the enemy. Waharibu watumishi wa Mungu wa kweli ambao Mungu amewaita. To destroy the true servants of God that God have appointed them. Na lengo lake, and the purpose Adui amedhamiria ama kuzimu imedhamiria mabaya juu ya kanisa la Tanzania. The hell intent evil things upon the church. Mungu atusaidie. May God help us. Akaniambia. And the God said, Wako watumishi wangu niliokuwa wananitumikia katika roho na kweli. They are my servant that used to serve me in spirit and truth. Kaniambia kuzimu imejipanga na imekusudia ili iwainue hao watumishi wawe wafanye kazi serikalini ama wengine waje wawe wabunge. But the hell is preparing a scheme to uh, to uplift this servant for them to be elevated in gov- in governmental uh, system for them to serve there. Na Bwana kaniambia kila anayejijua nimemuita kama mtumishi wangu asijiunge na siasa. And the Lord spoke and said whoever knows that have my calling should not join force in politics. Anaongea na watumishi ambao Mungu amewatenga mwenyewe kwa ajili ya utukufu wake juu ya nchi ya Tanzania. He is speaking with a servant that he have set apart for the ministry of the uh, board of Christ in Tanzania. Lengo la kuzimu ni kuua watumishi wa kweli wa Mungu ili kuzimu ama adui apate nafasi ya kushika maeneo hayo. The aim of the enemy is to kill the, the, the servants of God, the true servants of God for them not to serve the, to serve the Lord. Akanieleza maneno hayafuatayo. And he explained the following words. Wanaojijua ya kwamba nimewaokoa kwa ajili ya roho za watu. Those that know that I have appointed them especially for people's soul. Ama nimewatenga na kuandaa na kuwatenga kwa ajili ya roho za watu. I prepared them and set them apart especially for people's souls. Wasijiunge na siasa. They should not join force to politics. Hasa wale watumishi ambao Mungu amewatengeneza kawainua wakawa na watu makundi makubwa nyuma yao. Especially those that God have already elevated them and give them a lot of people behind them. Watafuatiliwa pole pole kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. They're going to be follow up little by little in the spiritual realm. Na wengine wameanza kukamatwa kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. And some have been already been captured in the spiritual realm. Na lengo lao. And the purpose is ni kuja kulidhoofisha ama kuliua kanisa la Kristo. Is to weaken or to kill the church. Na posema kuliua manake kama Mungu alivyotaka. When I say to kill the church is that they will stop the church to grow how God wishes it. Mungu akaniambia bali watumishi wa namna hiyo. And God say for this kind of servants. Ambao Mungu amewandaa kwa gharama kubwa. That God have prepared them with a highly cost. Na akawapaka mafuta kwa ajili ya taifa. And anoint them specially for the nation. Na nyuma yake wana watu wengi ambao Mungu amewapa. And behind them comes a, a, a big number that God have given them. Watu kama hao Mungu anaambia wasijiunganishe na siasa. This kind of servants should not join into politics. Sababu amewatenga kwa ajili ya roho za wanadamu. Because he have set them apart specially to serve people for the name of God. Kanaambia bali wao wanyenyeke tu kwangu. Instead they should be humble to God. Maana niliwapa heshima ndio maana watu wengi wakawakimbilia. Because I gave them honor that's why a lot of people are running towards them. Watakapokaa kwangu tu nitawapa watu ambao watawaandaa kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu baada ya ufalme huu wa duniani. If they abide with me and they walk side by side with me, I'm going to give them people that they're going to teach those people for the next kingdom of God after this one. Kwa hiyo wanawaandaa watu kwa ajili ya ufalme wa Mungu jao na si tu waishie hapa duniani na baadaye wapate hasara na nafsi zao. So they're going to prepare people for the kingdom of God not only here on the planet but also in the heaven. In heaven. Bwana kanaambia wako wengi walishatekwa wengi wao watumishi kama hao walio sema wenye sifa ambao Mungu aliwaandaa wengi wao walishatekwa kwenye ulimwengu wa roho japo hawajaanza kujiunga bado na mambo ya siasa. And God said 
Most of these servants that God has set them apart, most of them have been taken into captive in the spiritual realm. Those have not yet joined in politics. That is a technique that the enemy has And God says, if they won't hear his voice, and as they join themselves into politics and let the work of God, that because of that, a lot of people have come to the board of Christ. Because to where they have arrived is God took them there. So if they stop uh, dealing to the purpose of God and go to other things, God says this kind of servants will be punished here and there and they're going to encounter very bad things. In another word is in after sometimes they won't have where to stand because everywhere will be slippery. And after some time they won't have where to hold, not in politics or not in the serving God. Then they're going to understand it was a scheme of the enemy to take them out of the body of Christ. And as the purpose of the enemy is for the nation to lack the, the help it needs. Needed. Needed. To those people that God have elevated them. That behind them comes a, a multitude of people. And they, they are being anointed to stand for the nation spiritually. So if they join themselves to politics, the nation will lack the help to understand what God is seeking or wants for the nation. The last God says, but if they stand, uh, they stand fast to the position I call them for, the nation will have the help. And he erred by saying, they should humble before me, even if they see great honor that they are be given by mankind, they should remain humble to my presence. For I can instruct them, I as God. Is then they will able to carry the nation by my voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he spoke again these words about the, the, the servants of God. He said, I choose the powerful servant, especially for the nation of Tanzania. But some of them when they join to the politics side and other things that I God did not talk to them about they kept on going with them that was the source why the nation have went through her shapes because it lacked the, the first strength that it had because this servant of God left their position that God anointed them specially for the nation of Tanzania because their work was to abide with God to hear what he says and once they pray according to the instruction of God the nation become powerful and move to the line of God so they were shaken they thought they were still up but God have already let them now they are down finally he said to those servants that I am giving them this warning that have not yet joined themselves to politics God is telling them not to join to politics they pray for the nation by the instruction of God please say amen 
That is a message special for the servants of God. That they know God have called them, appointed them, and anoint them for the nation of Tanzania. 